Hi everybody! Oops, scratched my nose. We got a special today. We are gonna read to you kids and adults, whoever. It's for kids, kids safe. Fun with Kirk and Spot, a parody by Rob Perlman. <laughs> okay. Maybe this could be your kid's bedtime story. See the Enterprise. See the Enterprise go boldly. Go, go, Enterprise. Go boldly. These crew mem I mean, three crew members beam down to a mysterious planet. One red shirt, one blue shirt, one yellow shirt. Three crew members beam down. Three crew members have an adventure. Two crew members beam back up to the Enterprise. One blue shirt, one yellow shirt, two crew members beam back up. One crew member is fondly remembered. <laughs> Here's the picture, guys, kids, adults, women, dogs, cats, fleas. Okay, next page. See Kirk fight. Fight, Kirk, fight. Kirk is outnumbered. Kirk is hurt. Kirk wins. Kirk knows a chop to the neck will do the trick every time. Well, maybe it's not for real little kids. I mean, there is some violence in this book. <laughs> but yeah, nice violence. So, well, wait, is there <laughs> nice violence? Okay. See Spock. See Spock push down his feelings. Down, down, down. Push, push, push. No one smiles on Vulcan. See Spock. See Spock raise his hand for the traditional Vulcan greeting. Live long and prosper, says Spock. See the end sign. See the end sign. Try to get his fingers to cooperate. <laughs> My fingers can cooperate. Yep. Sort of. Go ahead and do it for the camera. There's Adrian's. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not allowed to be on camera anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. A Jeffrey's tube is good for many things. A Jeffrey's tube is good for climbing. From one deck to another, a Jeffrey's tube is good for finding ways to stop the M5 from taking over the ship. A Jeffrey's tube is good for housing a matter-antimatter reaction chamber. A Jeffrey's tube is not good for hiding a dead tel tellurite. So yeah, don't use it to hide bodies just because it says it in the book. The captain and his crew work on the bridge. The bridge is safe and secure. Nobody bad is allowed on the bridge. Except murderous children controlled by a megalomaniacal non-corporeal entity and conniving Romulan commanders and inquisitive Klingon science officers and psychotic satellites. Otherwise, the bridge is safe and secure. See? Don't panic, kids. It's safe and secure. See Nurse Chapel. Nurse Chapel made soup for Spock. It is good soup, Spock. Yum, yum, yum. See Nurse Chapel duck. Duck, Nurse Chapel duck. Spock does not want any soup. And he also should tell her that her dress is too short. <laughs> <laughs> not in the book, I added that. But Sorry. mostly he just want, doesn't want the soup. Yeah, mostly he just doesn't want the soup, so he threw it at her. Bad Spock. Don't do that at home, kids. If you don't want something, they'll throw it at your parents. Nope, I don't want that. <laughs> okay, gosh. See, see Yeoman Rand? I don't know, Yeoman Rand? Yeoman Rand has a lot to do. Yeoman Rand must attend to the captain. Yeoman Rand must take sensor readings. Yeoman Rand must spend hours getting her hair done. See the crewman. What is the crewman's name? It does not matter. Why does it not matter? He is wearing a red shirt. It is best not to get too attached. <laughs> um, she's gonna take care of the captain? Yeah, um, look at her dress, really? Little kids, when you grow up, or, or even adults, don't wear dresses that short. That's nasty, you can almost see your undies, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this takes place in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Ura has one Tribble. Now she has many Tribbles. Tribbles are here. Tribbles are there. Tribbles are everywhere. Tribbles are trouble. But oh, so cute. I added that. Sorry. Let's 
see Sulu's sword. Sulu's sword sure is sharp. Sulu's sword goes swish. Su swish, swish, swish. Sulu she sheathes his sword. Sulu's sword is safe and sound. <laughs> okay, so kids, be careful. And adults, don't just swish a sword around, you know. Safety first. In the background is Krissa. She's got a cold and she's making all kinds of weird noises. <laughs> See Abraham Lincoln. Hello, Mr. President. See Uhura. Hello, Lieutenant. See Abraham Lincoln. See Uhura. What did you just say, Mr. President? See Uhura diffuse the situation with grace. In this picture, at least, it at least looks like she has um, leggings underneath, so that's okay. She put them on in between scenes. She's, yeah, because I, I, she heard me <laughs> talk about it. So here we go. See Spock. Spock wants to get information from the alien. Spock will use a Vulcan mind meld to get the information. See Scotty. Scotty wants Spock's attention. Scotty is worried about the warp engines are overheating. Spock is distracted and accidentally uses a Vulcan nerve pinch. Oops! <laughs> oh no! He accidentally. How can you accidentally? Well, you know, it was. It believe it, kids. It was an accident. 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 My face is itchy because I've been out in the garden. Sorry. Will you run with us, Spock? No. It is not logical. Will you climb with us, Spock? No. It is not logical. What are they having on? Do they have like? Cameras. Blanket sleepers or something. That's funny. Will you swim with us, Spock? No, it is not logical. Sometimes Spock is no fun. Scotty loves Carolyn. Apollo loves Carolyn. Carolyn loves them both in their own way. Scotty and Apollo and Carolyn are in a love triangle. See Kirk win in the end. So here you go, guys. And you know what? Love triangles? No, they're just not a good healthy thing. Try not, to, try not to do that. Poor Captain Pike. Oh, that almost looked like Darvos. <laughs> Captain Pike was in a terrible accident. Captain Pike cannot walk. Captain Pike cannot talk. Captain Pike can get preferred parking spots. See Spock, mu Spock mutiny. Why Spock? Why? Kirk wants the truth. Spock does not think Kirk can handle the truth. See Spock take two episodes and use the unaired pilot to explain his actions. <laughs> okay, I think the battery's almost going out, so I hope I get this before the battery goes out. I was about to do it over again. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Or you have to do a part two. See Shekhov. See Shekhov beam down to the planet. See Shekhov follow orders. Go here, Shekhov, says Kirk. Go there, Shekhov, says Spock. Stay put, laddie, says Scotty. See Shekhov talk about Russia. Okay, so. Let's meet Spock's parents. See Spock's mother. Her name is Amanda. She is human. Hello, Amanda. See Spock's father. His name is Sarek. He is Vulcan. Live long and prosper, Ambassador Sarek. Spock is biracial. Let's visit Bones in Sick Bay. Why are you in Sick Bay, Bones? I'm a doctor. Sulu has a scratch. Ouch. See Bones scan Sulu. So there you go. And my kids are also biracial. Kirk has a cold. A chew. See Bones scan Kirk. See Spock coming with a problem. See Bones call Dr. Mbanga for in for a console. So they're all going sick. He goes to the doctor. Did they go for the doctor just for a little scratch and the <laughs> cold and stuff like that? <laughs> Somebody else has a little cold too. <laughs> yeah, but she's not going to the doctor like them. I guess then though they had that little scanner right they can cure him. Okay. See Bones. Bones calls Spock a pointed ear hobgoblin. Goblin. See Spock. Spock calls Bones illogical. Spock and Bones help each other. Spock and Bones are worried about Kirk. Spock and Bones are frenemies. So there you go. Oh no. Frenemies. Not good. See Bones. Bones is upset. 
Kirk wants Bones to help the Horta. I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer, Bones says, but Bones helps the Horta. Bones is pleased with himself. And here you go. See the Gorn. The Gorn is tall. The Gorn is green. The Gorn looks like something off of Doctor Who. Oh wait, that's not in the book. The Gorn is wearing a one-piece sleeveless tunic tunic with broaded accents and matching gauntlets. The Gorn is fashion forward. So he has fashion or she or it or whatever. Shh. Everyone is asleep on the Botany Bay. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. See Khan wake up. Khan is cranky. Khan wants to take over the Enterprise. Mine, mine, mine. Khan wants to take over the universe. Mine, mine, mine. Khan is not a morning person. <laughs> I'm not a morning person either. Oh, itchy eyes. Okay. Classified material. Do not open. Destination Bureau of Peniology, Stockholm Pinology. Oops. Stockholm Eurasiany. Look, Kirk, a box from Tantalus. What is in the box? What is in the box from Tantalus? Is it a promotion for Spock? No, it's not a promotion. Spock assumes only temporary command. Surprise! It is Dr. Van Gelder, a violent and rambling escapee. Hello, Dr. Van Gelder. Hello! So here he is. See Trelane. Trelane wants to play with the crew to Enterprise. Trelane thinks the crew to Enterprise are his toys. Trelane is rough with his toys. Trelane wants him to play piano, dance, and die. Trelane's parents put a stop to his foolishness. Okay, kids, use this as an example. Don't be rough with your toys and they'll break. You know what? And parents, charge your kids if they're too rough and break their toys. Charge them for a new one. See the Enterprise, map star pattern, something is blocking the way. It's a spinning cube, spin, spin, spin. See Balok, the hostile alien. Balok is cruel, Balok is threatening, Balok is, that's Balok, oh. Kirk and the, uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Scotty and Bones beam up to the Enterprise. Up, 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 it is a different Enterprise. This Enterprise is in a parallel universe. It is a bad universe. In this universe, Spock has a beard. In this universe, Kirk refuses the advances of a woman. This is a bad universe. Yeah, you see Kirk goes for, falls for all the women and, and messes everything up, so. Hey, you. You see this here, pal? You see Kirk? Kirk has see, here sees a society stuck in the 20, 1920s. The boss Omix, he's looking for heaters, see? Lots of heaters. The boss wants heaters to take out Krako, see? This here what happens when you you violate the prime directive. See Lokai. Lokai is half white and half black. See Bale? Bili Bili is half black and half white. They are different. They are the same. They are doomed. See Flint. Flint is very old. Flint has seen empires grow up, up, up. Flint has seen the fall of civilizations down, down, down. Flint has seen a thousands of years come and go. Go, go, go. Flint sees his android companion, Raina, develop feelings of love for Kirk. Now Flint has seen everything. The Klingons are on their way to Organia. Zap, zap, zap. Organians know when Kirk and Spock arrive. Hello, hello, hello. Organians know when the Klingons have arrived. Hello, hello, hello. Organians know their plan is important because Organians know the first role of real estate. Location, location, location. Okay. And that is it for the book. See you later, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye. Bye.